classical guitar shed and in this video we're going to be talking about the Carcassi Opus 60 number no. 6. This is a beautiful piece, a super fun project and in this video we're going to review the course on this piece, take a look at it. If you want to stick around to the very end you can listen to me playing the entire piece. You just heard a little snippet of it, you can hear the whole thing at the very end. So with that, let's jump in. Well, this Carcassi etude here, an etude is a study. So this is a study. It's an opportunity to work on a specific skill or a couple or two or three skills in particular, as every etude is, most etudes are. And so what we do in this course is we look at what exactly those issues are. And they are balance, making one voice come out above other voices. If you'll notice, there's these these notes that are long notes and then there's all this eighth note business, all these running, running notes all over the place. Well, we talk about how to meld those and the considerations of what should we pay attention to when, which one should be louder than the other one, how do we know which one should be louder, all those good things. And with each, if we're going to get louder and softer, as melodies do, how do we do that? How do we know what to, what to do with each of these lines so that it sounds like two different instruments playing at the same time and both being playing beautifully and interestingly at the same time. So we really go through that. We also talk about how to connect these notes really well. There's a lot of thumb action in here. So we talk about how to connect those notes and how to practice. There's a lot of practice tips in here on how to go about doing that. So if you'll notice the way this course is laid out, there are these numbers here. I put these numbers in here. And these are practice sections. So it's just small sections for practice. And with these, what we'll do is we'll go through, we'll go through and look at each small section with a fine tooth comb. We'll look at the individual issues with, within that section and also how it ties to the larger section. We'll talk about each little fingering thing, how the fingerings work over in the left hand, what are the best ways to prepare so that everything smooths out and we have no bumps in the road? And also with the right hand, how to make a big rich sound as we're playing, how to bring out one note over another note while all the notes play. There's all these different issues and we'll go through each of them just bit by bit, step by step, so that we can practice each one individually, then put them all back together and the entire unit is then stronger than if we just blasted through everything all at the same time. If you prefer tab, tab is included in the materials both for the ma main score and for all the individual practice sections. We separate those um, in the practice packet as well and so in the materials packet you will have the notation and you'll also have the tab. Now in the course itself, in the videos, we only use the notation but because the practice sections are small you can always keep up with where we are using the tab because it's written above it and then it's also there's only a few bars in the uh, in each practice section so you always know where we are even if you decide to go with tab. So the main challenges you'll face in this piece the notes are fairly straightforward they're mainly in the first open position um, we go up to the fifth fret for a moment but mainly the large majority of the time we're right down here there are some accidentals and sharps and flats but it's all right here so the the notes themselves aren't that much of a um, of a problem, which for that reason, a lot of people dismiss this as, blah, it's just an easy A2, but it's not. There is, if you add in all the musical elements and all the musical opportunities, it turns into quite a, a fun challenge to do everything and to, to do our main challenges. Like we said, balance, legato, smooth connecting of lines, um, and all of the rest. So this is the course on Carcassi's Opus 60, number six, really fun piece to practice, really fun um, for me to record this uh, to record this course and I hope you enjoy it half as much as I did. If you would like to take this course on this piece then you'll find the link below where you can sign up for it and get access to the materials packet with everything in it and also all the videos available for streaming. All right, have a wonderful day. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.